Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series on my channel called Content Cringe. The series where I find some of the most cringeworthy content across YouTube and bring the creators justice and hopes that they'll change our content creating ways. But before this series, let alone the video even starts, I feel like I need to mention this guys. Please don't go to your way to witch hunt any of these guys in the series as it is meant for fun and it's not meant to be an attack on any of these YouTubers. But without any further delays, today's contestant on Content Cringe is none other than Mr. Hyde. Or hit or hide I'm gonna call him hide I don't know how to pronounce it but honestly I had no idea this guy even existed until about a month or so ago because he commented one of those self-advertising spam comments on one of my videos you guys know what I'm talking about the wow your content is really good I really enjoyed this video and it looks like you put a lot of time into it you should come check out my channel and hey while you're at it you should subscribe and if you're lucky, you can be entered into my weekly shoutout series I do on my channel. And I think you'd be a really good candidate. Keep up the good work, and I hope to see you on my channel soon. Smiley face kind of comments. We all get them, no matter how big or small our channels are. And speaking of shoutouts, he does do a shoutout series on his channel, and you're probably thinking, oh, well that's a good thing, because he's got an okay amount of subs, and he can help some of those channels that are smaller who can't really get much traction on YouTube out. And yes, you'd be right about that. But there's one thing that really drives me at the wall with his shoutout series. He does it with other people, and in order to be entered, you have to be subbed and active on his channel, obviously. But not only that, there are two to four other people that he's hosting it with, and you have to be subbed and active on their channels as well. Now, I see what they're trying to do, I really do, but some people only sub to a channel just to get a shoutout, and the second they get the shoutout, they unsub because they can't stand the content on that person's channel. Not all the time, but sometimes that does, or a lot of times actually that does happen. And I mean, come on, we've done, we've all done it before. We sub to a guy's channel because he's doing a shoutout series and you want to grow. And if you get a shoutout, you unsub. If you don't get a shoutout, you probably still unsub. But being active on that person's channel is hard enough, even if you do like their content because you're constantly competing with other people that want a shoutout. But being active on three or more so people's channels who may post content that you just you just don't enjoy is insane and really not even fair because you're not guaranteed a shout out you're just I guess guaranteed a chance and I'm not trying to say that any of their content is bad at all but the point that you need to understand is you shouldn't force people to, sh to sub to other people's like other hosts in the series just have a chance to be entered into the series not not guaranteed a shout out just a chance to actually get a shout out Another thing that really needs to be covered is the fact that this guy is literally turning into the love child of Exility and Pro Gamer J with his clickbait thumbnails and titles. I mean, look at some of these. So obviously he's not exactly at the Exility level of clickbait just yet, but he's not too far behind either. Calling PewDiePie, he actually answered. <laughs> You serious? Counting from one to a hundred thousand in one video, gone wrong. This is just gone wrong. Those are the two golden words of every clickbait video out there. Now, even if this video of him counting from one to a hundred thousand, which is obviously fake because it's only three minutes seventeen seconds, and Mr. Beast, it took him I think about 24, 23 hours to actually do it in his video. I'm not sure how this would go wrong, but let's just say it did. The way, only way, the only possible way I can imagine it going wrong, is he's counting from one to hundred thousand, and about halfway through or so, he loses his voice. So he takes a cough drop, and he drinks some water, and he ends up choking on the cough drop, then he falls over and dies. That is the only way that I can imagine a video about basic counting by ones going wrong. And then obviously he does another video here, literally the exact same length. There's a liquid nitrogen versus lock save thing who cares and of course the experiment 1000 degree glowing knife versus thumb which is obviously fake but let's just let's just see what the tags are on this video I'm curious I'm not gonna actually watch the video unless 
Actually, let's just skip through it. And... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a mannequin. Okay. That makes so much sense. That totally gives you the right to be able to put that kind of stuff in your thumbnail, like an actual human thumb. This is probably one of the most curious, but I was actually, I did actually watch this video, then I just kind of clicked off it after he begged for likes for the first half of the video. Okay. So, Marzia. How much PewDiePie makes in a year? Calling Santa Claus. Killer Clown. PewDiePie New Car. PewDiePie Montage. PewDiePie Reboot Play Button. Happy Wheels. PewDiePie Deleting My Channel. So about half the tags have absolutely nothing to do with the actual video, which, I mean, really doesn't surprise me because people that don't really have a personality have to spam comments or not comments tags just to get noticed on YouTube I mean that's actually how a lot of people have gotten big they just copy tags from other bigger youtubers and they get big but and as you can see going down just clickbait clickbait more clickbait here this one actually I don't really care about that much I mean Everybody jumped on this when PewDiePie first announced he was going to be deleting his channel for 50 million subscribers. Everybody. So I really don't blame him for making a video about this for like for his own channel. But these ones here were inspired probably by Pro Gamer J, just because he started doing them, they went viral. But honestly, as you go down, his videos get less and less clickbaity. Like as you can see. So he's not quite at the level of Exility or Pro Gamer J just yet, but if he keeps up with like the pace he's going now, he will be pretty soon. So hopefully he can smarten up and just not. Remember earlier when I said that he was like the offspring of Exility and Pro Gamer J? I wasn't even kidding. He literally begs for likes and comments for the first like a minute or so of the video, which I don't even know about you guys, but that automatically makes me want to click out the video. It's like you go into a restaurant, and the waiter brings you the bill before you even get your food. That's kind of what it feels like whenever someone asks for likes and subs at the beginning of a video. Which, before I forgot to even mention, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Let's try to go for 69,000 likes. So if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button, just so we can get 69,000 likes, that would be fantastic. Just hit that like button down below. If we could hit 69,000 likes in this video, guys, that would be amazing. I really want to hit 69,000 likes, so make sure you leave a like in the video. That would be awesome, guys, and don't forget to leave a like. So do you think that I actually got the point across that I want them to leave a like? I mean, I feel like I did, but I'm not entirely sure. What do you think? Well, I mean, you definitely did ask them at least once. But just to make sure that they actually understand that you want them to like the video, I would ask them at least just one more time to like the video, just, just to be safe. Yeah, you're probably right. Please, 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 please like the video, guys. Please leave a like in the video. Please just leave a like in the video. But, okay, back on a serious note now. See what I mean, guys? Even though that was in the middle of the video, it's still annoying nonetheless. And it really just makes you... Literally want to throw your computer or your phone away or out the window just to get their voice out of your head. But in all honesty, guys, Hyde isn't the worst at clickbaiting. Like I said, as it seems, he's only started doing it a lot more recently, as most of his older videos aren't really that clickbaity at all. They're just normal videos. But with all this being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Let's try to shoot for five likes in the video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And guys, my exams begin this week, which is why I haven't posted any videos this week. I've only posted one, but after they're done, I can hopefully go back up to two or three videos a week. And last but not least, if you guys have anyone else in mind for a series, the next episode, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. And again, this series is not meant to send hate to their channels. It's just meant for some fun. And Hyde, if you do see this, hopefully you will get a laugh out of it. And with all that being said, I will see you guys all in the next one.